This is an 18th video in this series and we're finishing up on the walk cycle and I'd really like to get this finished up because oh this series is really starting to drag on for me. Um, I'm going to start off by um, doing a very quick demonstration of correcting a motion and I think that in deciding the rotation of the spine that I understated that motion a little bit and that I might be better served to overstate it a little bit and then offset it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to rotate the spine in frame one. Make that motion a little bit more stated and then offset it with the spine. So I'll rotate that even a little bit more. And hopefully that'll be good. And this is just a uh, rough note. I haven't even experimented with this idea yet. I'm going to set that as a rotation for the spine. Or the pelvis, I should say. Copy it. And set it into the appropriate locations, which is frame 21 and frame 41. And frame 11 and 31, where with the pelvis sitting up straightwards. So I'll use the up arrow key to advance to 21, paste the pose, lock it in, advance to frame 41, paste the pose, and lock it in. And that's going to state that motion a lot more. And then I'm going to upset, offset that motion with the spine. In the spine, I want to set a number of rotations. The first one is we're working in frame 1, 21, and 41 for this. Well, actually, we're going to set uh, frame in 11 first. So I'll go forward to frame 11, and I'll lock in the upright stance in frame 11. First off, I need to select the appropriate bones. So let's get the spine, neck, and head. And we'll lock in a frame at frame 11 for all those. A rotation. And key up to frame 31. And lock in an upright pose for, for those bones and that as well. And then go back to frame 1 and start posing it. By locking that frame in, the model will return to its its upright position by the time we get to our next our next uh, key point. So from frame one to frame eleven, it will rotate back to the upright position, and then when we get to frame twenty one, it will be in the upright position. So that's something to keep in mind by doing that. And let's make sure we have the spine selected. First thing I'm going to do is rotate the spine to play with the legs. Um, I'm going to rotate, whoops, accidentally changed layers there. I'm going to rotate that by, I guess using the keyboard, I'm going to go with 7 degrees. And I've experimented with this. I found 5 understated the motion a lot. And then I'll select the head. So I'll go up, select the head, or the neck I should say, and I'm going to rotate it in the other direction by 7. And that will be minus 7 on the head. And that will offset that rotation and keep the head facing forward so it doesn't, so it isn't saying no as, as it's walking down and it would be looking back and forth very quickly. So we'll offset that, and then I'm going to rotate the spine back a touch, and let's experiment here. I'm going to go by 2 degrees, and that's going to offset the exaggerated motion I put into the pelvis. And in order to stop the head from saying yes at this point, I'm going to need to rotate it forward. So I'll go a rotation of minus 3. And then on the head, rotation of 2. So those kind of offset each other. So we have 
two, three, two. Uh, might want to write that down. Or not. I'm not really sure yet. So I'm going to select those bones. Locked in the rotation at frame 1. Copy the pose. And the reason I'm not really sure is I've never tried posing a flipped pose on center bones. And I don't know how it's going to respond when I do that. So now I'll just key forward to frame 21. And I'm going to pose the flipped pose and see what happens. And this is an experiment. And if I look at that from a top view, I'll probably get a better notion. And if I key forward a frame, it will lose that rotation, and I'll know what exactly what happened. And it did pose into a flipped and an opposing version of that pose. So that works out good. And I'll look at that. Lock it in as a rotation for frame 21, and then key forward to 41 and paste the original pose from frame 1 and lock that in. And with that I'm going to call that my walk cycle. So I'll come over to the action editor, select all into the key menu, into extend and re-engage the cyclic action for all bones. And I believe that that pretty much covers my walk cycle. And you'll notice that I've left the shoulders out of it. I'm not really sure there's a lot of value in, in rotating those for the walk cycle. I'm sure it would increase the quality somewhat, but it will either exaggerate the up and down bobbing for the entire upper body, or, or make the up and down bobbing look larger for the head by rotating those. So I'm actually just going to leave them alone. And I've been considering that for people who want to tweak this um, walk cycle and work with it till they get something that's really perfect um, using the hips as a shock absorber could also conceivably be used as a method to prevent a certain level of that bobbing action and we could um, as you notice the one foot's off the ground by doing that and by using the hip bones in that fashion we could lessen the degree of bob in the head because that is a little bit overstated in the animation where its head is coming up and down pretty far. But presently, that's the walk cycle. And that's as good as I'm going to do it for this tutorial. I personally, it's worked out better than I thought it would. And from here, I'm going to... Um, do a little checking to see if I can find a cure for the little snapping action at the one frame there. And and I'm possibly going to do another video to include the action and um, NLA editor to look at different ways we can apply this. And I'm going to see if I can find the, the part in Blender that helps to um, set this up so that we actually are getting a forward motion on the, on the model. But I don't really know a lot about that, so I'm not really going to make any promises on that, because like I said from the start here, animating is not my strong suit, and I don't, I don't, just don't know a lot about it. And I'm kind of tired of this project, to be honest. Um, I was thinking of, of moving on to something a little more advanced, and and conceivably seeing about putting this rigging into a uh, flash model. So that's the possibilities for my future videos, and until then, happy modeling.